Hello and welcome to another episode. On this rainy day I thought it would be a good time to take a look at the citrus that's been overwintering all winter. Right now it's the middle of February and to give you a little bit of context they've been under a south facing covered patio. So two weeks ago we got about two feet of snow and it got down to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit uh, which is definitely pushing it for citrus. So they don't like that low temperatures, even for the cold hardy citrus that's pretty darn cold. But they overall they did very well with the location that they're at. And even the, some of the ones that I thought would definitely suffer some damage, they actually did really well. So with that said, let's go take a look at some of the damage and some of the things that happened to them over the course of the winter thus far. The worst of it should be out of the way now. So I'm really not expecting anything else to uh, really come through and wreak havoc on them. So let's go take a look at them. So I'm going to start off with the seedlings, which are right here. I've got this kumquat over here. It's a big one. It's really did amazingly. It actually put out new growth over the course of the winter. As long as they get enough uh, sun, they'll just keep growing. They don't get a true dormancy. So enough, if they might stop growing if they don't get enough sun. But they'll just keep out pumping new growth if they get the sun for it and it doesn't get too cold. Some things that got hit pretty hard are these two here. So this is a grapefruit. Uh, I believe the top got eaten off by slugs. Not much you can do, there's so many here. Um, but there's a little bit of green on the stem so maybe it'll be able to sprout a bud. Maybe there's a bud in here somewhere that, that'll re regrow. We'll see, I'll just leave it for now. Kind of similar with this one. This one is a little better off though because it actually has uh, some branches on there still, so I know there's a bud on there still. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with those two. This guy is an orange, and as you can see, it has new growth on it, so pretty bizarre, but whatever. This is one of the ones that I thought wasn't gonna do all that great because oranges, um, they like a lot of heat, but they also can't tolerate cold all that well. This kumquat friend, however, can tolerate a lot of cold. They're actually one of the most cold hardy citrus that you can grow. So that's, this one is pretty awesome. I'll definitely be actually getting some specific varieties of it because I do really like growing those and I like kumquats, so. This one is a Meyer lemon that I grew from a seed. Overall, it's also doing pretty well. Tolerated the cold just fine. This is a mandarin that I also grew from a seed and uh, slugs <laughs> they just love this thing i don't know why specifically but this thing got hit like crazy they were just over this all the time i constantly had to hand pick them off and i think i finally got the upper hand on them but same thing same deal here it's just putting on new growth as well overall doing pretty good and then next to it might as well throw it in our um some apuntias or prickly pear cacti put those outside as well because they can actually tolerate a fair amount of cold as well. Okay, so now off to the main show. So over here is the uh, Meyer lemon that I got last year. And it has little lemons on it. They'll probably start growing hopefully uh, next spring and summer. Like as long as this hold, holds on to it, I'll be happy. A little clusters everywhere. Now uh, this wasn't its first year, it's supposed to take them off. But it did so well and it grew so strongly the first the first year that I just decided to leave it on. And uh, I haven't really had any adverse effects, so I'm just going to roll with it. If I end up seeing stunted growth or something like that next year when they really start growing, I'll probably end up taking those lemons off. But if I don't see any adverse effects, I'm just going to leave them on. Because I would love to get some homegrown lemons. Here's the lime from last year. Also doing well. It didn't... Uh, take off quite as much but you can see itty bitty lemons on or limes on it excuse me so we'll see how this goes um, I'll also be pruning them a little bit not very much you don't have to prune citrus all that much but I just I don't like this super long branch so I'll be pruning that back a little bit but that's I'll be making a video about that in the spring and now surprisingly my big lemon tree that I grew from a seed has actually had the most damage. 
which I kind of was surprised by because I figured, you know, with um, the genetics as being a little bit more diverse, I thought maybe that that would actually help the cold hardiness, but I guess not. The most damage is on the growing tips. You can see them here. These are the new growth tips. They just keep growing all winter long as long as there is enough sun. And they're also the first to uh, really get hit. And then because of the amount of moisture that's in the air, they kind of mold and just die off. But it isn't a problem. This is nothing to worry about. In the spring, I'll just be pruning those off and let it continue to do its thing. So overall, I'm very pleased. I hope you like this little update. And with that, I hope to see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.